right guys as you can see I have been experimenting um, I got some plans off of a Jeep form I'll put the link uh, in the description of where I got these ideals or with the plans I did not steal them from nobody somebody uh, built them and told how they done it so I follow their instructions um, as you can see they're PVC train horns uh, I'll show you it does work let me set this down here this on here yeah anyhow I don't know what they're uh, what they're set to as far as what note or whatever but anyhow I'm gonna show y'all how I done mine um, I got a four inch to a two inch coupling or connector whatever you want to call it I got uh, a stick of uh, four inch pipe and I cut a piece half inch thick you set it down inside of here, inside of your four inch, okay? Anyhow, you push it all the way down to where it gets down there into the bottom edge right there, okay? We'll just act like this is down in there. You then take this good piece, it does not have a hole. This one is, is a bad piece, but all I used was a, uh, a butter bowl lid. Uh, then you put it down in there. Then you take your, make sure, make sure you glue this in first. You have to glue this in all the way down. And then you put this piece on top of this piece. Well, that, like this is inside of this four inch. Okay. And then you take your, another piece. I cut this inch wide. It's one inch. And then you put it on top of there like that inside of here, which are look sandwiched just like that with your butter bowl lid on the inside and it has to be down the side there glued. This thick piece I did not glue. As you can tell, all I done was I bolted mine. I drilled holes, put it up against the edge right here. I put it up against here real tight and then I drilled some holes and I bolted it, three of them. Okay, and then anyhow, after you got that done, you want to drill a hole in the side so you can put you an air valve any kind of air valve whatever you prefer okay and then you take your two inch to one inch adapter okay there's a little lip on the inside of it you can see right there you're gonna to have to get that out that way your one inch pipe can slide all the way through it'll come out this end It'll go all the way through down inside of here, and the ins inside of this, you're going to have this piece, okay? It's, it's going to have to come through here, as you can see it coming out right there, but it, I mean, it's, it's not going to come out anyhow. It's going to have to go up against this. You can see mine has a little bulge in it. Let's see if I can get this in a shot. You can see it's got a little bulge right there where my one inch pipe, this pipe is shoved through here and it's hitting my diaphragm, which is this piece. Okay. You want that to be up against it. That vibration is what's going to make the loud sound. Okay. You can, after that, after you get all that done, uh, you can take and cut this one inch piece to whatever length you want um, I think it's the shorter the one inch pipe is the, the louder the desk well whatever out or I don't know but anyhow just experiment it try it see how you like it um, I got two different ones I've got a deep sound and a really loud sound but I've done this just to have fun you know kind of scare people but anyhow this that's what I've done um, all of this stuff, I bought enough material to, to build three of them. I mean, I've still got more uh, four-inch pipe left, and, well, I've got a couple pieces of one-inch pipe. Uh, it cost me about $30. Um, I'm sure you can get the same stuff. Uh, you can get it from any hardware store. Uh, get your funnels from your uh, automotive shop, whatever. Um, it doesn't... Uh, 
you can get you an air tank. I'm gonna link these together um, with another hose or whatever. It's gonna come off into a, uh, a T. And I'm gonna run it to a little air tank with a ball valve. And that way I can just blast both of them. Um, but anyhow, that's how I done it. Just remember, you need one piece one inch wide. You'll need another piece a half an inch wide. Butter bowl lid has worked great for me. Um, I busted this one with a drill bit. Um, you'll need a four inch to two inch cup length, a two inch to one inch cup length to go in there. You'll need one inch uh, PVC also. Um, all I've done to get this measurement is I stuck a, my four inch by one inch on the butter lid. I took a razor knife and I cut out around it and that's how I got that. I hope this helps you all. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, like the video and share it. I really would appreciate it. Thank you.